So the other day, a good friend of mine, Sean, fellow watch nut like the rest of us, had lent me his Omega Seamaster, the gray dial version for a video, which I published last week. The plan was for me to return that watch to Sean today, which I did do, but last night I received a text from him. He had just made another purchase. He had been talking about this watch a while now, and I was surprised he made the purchase quite that quickly, but he did. He bought a very iconic watch. This is the world's first pilot watch. It's the first mass-produced men's wrist watch. It is just a beautiful piece, although I've never seen one actually in person. The watch is the Cartier Santos, and this will be an unboxing and a true first impressions because I have never been hands-on with the Santos before. They gave him the option at the boutique to either wear the watch out of the store or have it gift wrapped. So it's gift wrapped, so we're going to do the complete unboxing of the watch. Really excited about it, so let's get to it. Okay, so this is going to be a little bit hard to do. I don't have quite a wide enough angle lens to get this fully in frame, but thinking we can get a top-down view, and then I'll readjust the camera once I get the initial uh, unbagging finished. So what do we have in here? Okay. Check that out. Okay, I'm a little bit scared to be doing this <laughs> unwrap job, but we're going to attempt it. We'll set that aside for now. Uh, this might have some personal information in it. This was, that's just a, a copy of his receipt. You know, we'll pull through, uh, we'll pull out the rest of the stuff out of the bag and then we'll check out all of the goodies here. Are these chocolates, I believe? I could be totally wrong on that, but okay. So I am just going to adjust the camera just a little bit and we'll uh, continue on. Okay. So before we get to the watch, let's just kind of go through the swag and then we'll get to the main event here up in the right corner soon. First and foremost, these are not chocolates. I'm telling you guys, I am an absolute rookie when it comes to Cartier. These are perfumes. So you definitely if you find these with your Cartier purchase, do not want to eat those. This, I am not sure yet. It's a white cloth. A little brush. And this says lotion for jewelry and watches. So this is, I guess, just a little cleaning kit for your watch. Put that away. Again, this just has the receipt of purchase. And lastly is, yes, the watch strap, which I believe these automatically come with the strap and bracelet. Nice looking clasp. I'm gonna just zoom in here for a second because this might be the best opportunity to see this. I was on the site and uh, I've seen a couple of videos on this too. This is a quick release system that they use on their strap and the bracelet also has this. I believe you just push this little spot here and yeah, you can see it releases the strap from the watch. Zoom back out. Sean did mention he's going to, he's got a croc strap for this watch also on the way. So, okay, let's put this stuff out of the way and we will get to the watch. 
All right, so you can see we've got the Cartier wax seal. Look at that wrap job. And on the other side, I'm going to try to do this as delicately as possible and just to try to preserve these seals for Sean. He said to just go at it, but I'm thinking the knife is the right the route to take. Let's see if they release here. It doesn't want to let go very easily. Okay, I think I got it. Did a little bit of a number on the paperwork, or on the paper rather there, but I don't think there's any way of avoiding that. And Sean did give me the go ahead to do what had to be done to get into this. I think we managed okay there. There's probably a pro proper way of doing that, but I am uh, not aware of that particular way if there is one. So, I am just gonna fold this up the best I can. And let's see what we have here. That off to the side. And there it is. So first off, this is, I'm not sure if I mentioned this is the large, and it is quite a bit bigger than I was expecting. It is a good size watch. Wow. That is beautiful. Love the bracelet. Crystal has a beautiful curve to it. Very nice winding action. The finish work is just top notch. Very slender case. What an absolute beautiful watch. Thanks again to Sean for the opportunity to get this in front of the camera. Man, this thing is absolutely stunning. The polished bezel is beautiful against all the brushed surfaces. Got a polished edge to the case. One thing that's really interesting, and I'm probably not going to be able to show you guys on video today, Just I just don't want to mess with the brand new watch, but they have a system, and I think it's called the Smart Link system. You can change these without a tool, just with your fingernail. There's almost like a little button. I can't even see it hardly. Oh, yes, I can see it. It's not going to show up on camera, but there's a little pusher in here, and that pops a pin out. The, pop, the pin won't come right completely out of the link, but it pops it out enough to disconnect the links. So you can size this uh, literally with your bare hands, which is pretty cool. Again, we've got that quick release system. I've got the calipers just over on the desk. I'm going to go grab those and we'll take a couple measurements. And we are back with the calipers. And while I grabbed them, I actually gave Sean just a quick call just to let him know that I was doing the unboxing at right now and also to congratulate him again on such an awesome watch first takeaway and i just mentioned this to sean just now is first of all beautiful beautiful watch it is stunning in person but it's much more robust feeling than i expected i expected this to be a little more on the delicate side but that is not the case at all the case Speaking of which, the case width comes in at, let's do that again here, 38.8 millimeters. 
the lug to lug is 47.4 thickness is 9.4 so very slender and lug opening is says 20.8 but i believe these are 21 millimeter lug opening the one thing with these watches is with that system i believe you have to use cartier straps or bracelets i don't think a regular uh spring bar is going to work with these i'm not 100 percent on that one but that's what i've gathered so far but let's get in for one bit of a closer look here you can see those blued hands lighting up the dial really is just perfection. Gorgeous watch. Look at the crown. Uh, beauty. Let's take a look on wrist. And here it is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. And wow. I could see totally scratching up that bezel uh, over time. <laughs> but other than that, this thing is an amazing watch it wears fantastic wow it really hugs the wrist great pickup by sean he actually offered to let me keep this for as long as i needed to do a full uh, review kind of a full video on the watch and i actually refused because i could not put him through that kind of torture it would probably take me at least a week or two <laughs> and he had just got the watch so we're just going to do the unboxing i got to get this back to him i will get this in front of the macro lens though i'm going to get some shots some close-up shots for uh, instagram as well as a little outro for this video so kind of some glam shots of this beautiful timepiece so that is it. I am going to let you go here for today. Really appreciate you stopping by, but stick around for some of those shots. They are coming right now. Mm -hmm.